In this next set of videos, we'll be looking at the screens under the A Choose Zones and Rooms tab. This is where you will set up all of the A Choose in your project to find the zones and rooms that these A Choose serve and input both the external and internal loads that these rooms are subject to. Each of the input screens under this tab have both the Show Single and Show All view. This is the Show Single view for the AHU screen. As you can see, it has all the input parameters for a single AHU selected at the top here. You can select the AHU to view via the drop-down box here, or by using the left and right arrows. It's a similar case for the AHU coil screen which has some further input parameters related to the AHUs. The Show All view can be accessed by clicking the button at the top right here. This displays all the same inputs as the Show Single view, but instead of showing one AHU at a time, you can see the inputs for all AHUs in the project in this large table format. This makes it easy to compare inputs between AHUs, or even copy and paste common inputs across them all. For example, if I wanted to change the internal temperature set point to 23 degrees, I could make the change in the top cell here and then use the fill down function, new in Camel Plus, to apply this value to all the HUs below. The drawback of the show all views is that they have abbreviated input titles that can lack some context, so they may not be as user friendly for newer users. Having said this, the show all views are more powerful and typically more efficient to use so I would recommend getting used to using them if you can, as you'll benefit in the long run. Moving along, the Zones and Rooms screen has inputs related to the room, such as floor area, ceiling height, and outside air provided to each room. The External screen is where you'll enter all your external walls, windows, and roofs against each room. The Partition screen is where you'll enter all internal walls, floors and ceilings where you have heat transmission due to adjacent rooms being at different temperatures. Finally, there's the internal screen where you enter the internal loads within a room, such as people, lighting and equipment. We'll cover each of these screens in further detail in future videos. So what you can see here is how a project that's already been set up looks like. When you start a new project, you'll have to enter in all your AHUs, zones and rooms from scratch. I'll cover the most effective way to do this in the next video, where we'll be looking at the AHU setup and tree structure screen. Bye for now.